Hello you guys. So today we will talk about how to use watercolors for beginners. So watercolor is one of my favorite medium and it's a very flexible medium that you can play around with in a most interesting way. Now there are typically two types of rules when it comes to watercolor. First rule is the wet in wet technique. That's where you damp the paper first, just like what I'm doing with the skin. You damp the paper first before you put on your first layer of color so that it will bleed into each other. And for this piece, this is a little bit of retro neon, so I'm not using the typical skin tone. What I'm using are the use of pink and blue and purple when they meet together. As you could see, the cheeks is a little bit purple. But I didn't really use any purple use. I just let the pink color and the sky blue color to bleed into each other. And they created that purple transition which is very smooth. This is what happens when you use a wet on wet technique. The colors bleed. Um, depends on how much water and on the placement of the water. And when two colors meet together, they mix on their own. And that's where you get a smoother transition of use. Like on this one, it's pink and blue, so we were able to get a purple. Now, also another technique that I use for the hair is what we call the wet on dry technique. When you say wet on dry technique, it's a little bit different. What you do is you do not wet the surface, you just use um, the paintbrush and you put each line as carefully as possible. I usually use this for areas where I wanted to have that defined lines or crisp lines where I don't want them to bleed, where I don't want them to mix with other colors. In this case, it's the hair because I need to have a very defined highlight from the low lights to create that 3D effect. So I'm using a wet on dry technique wherein I did not wet the surface. On the base color, it was pink and so it was completely wet in wet. But when I put on the darker tone, which is the blue tone as its um, darker area or shadow part, that's when I put on the wet on dry technique. But you have to make sure that the first layer is completely dry before you add your finer details. So you will have that crisp shadow lines and they don't mix together because if they bleed together, you will have that purple shade again. So as for the background, since it's retro 80s, so it's also pink and blue. Um, I'm always trying to use as limited palette as I can because I always believe that you don't have to utilize as much color in order for you to get a vibrant um, painting. All you have to know is the basic of, you know, color combination and what's the correct, um, let's say, color used to use to get a certain value. And it's all about how much water you can dilute. And how much pigment you want it to be shown in your piece. So as you could see, this is the second layer where I'm already adding um, the shadow parts and the more darker and less diluted um, to make it even more colorful or pigmented rather. So don't forget where the light is. Your light source is very important. And this piece, my light source is coming from the right side. So as you could see. Um, it's casting a shadow on the hands, which is on the left side. Now, I'm going over through the hair again. And I always start with my lightest tone um, for the highlights. And this one is already all wet on dry technique. No more wet on wet because this is the final layer. So wet on dry to have those crisp um, flyaway hairs, those crisp, um, let's say, string lines of the hair and it's also wet on wet on dry on my blue shadows and as you could see the more you use wet on dry the more details it adds on the hair especially if you wanted to create that crisp flyaway lines or those um you know volume of hair that you wanted to add and of course for the most darker part i still use the same method wet on dry technique for the dark tones the mo the final shadow which is a completely black um uh color because this one is uh, this girl's hair is not really blue it's really black but because of the neon lights that reflecting off her skin and off her hair um you could see a little bit of tone of blue so i hope you enjoy